go. This is Deontay DeBron from a while, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. And I'd like to give a big shout out to CJ Goodfellow, Sports TV. Bomb Squad, baby. All right, Eddie Hearn says that Dimitri Bivol and Arthur Better BF is bigger than Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence. Let's talk about it. Check out the Boxing News playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And um, that's saying a lot. Um, which is not. It's not even bigger if they fought in Russia. Can better BF go back to Russia since he's a Canadian citizen? You know how sensitive it is over there. But um, let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Check out the box on the playlist for videos like this. So uh, it's not. Eddie Hearn just talks so much time foolery, bro. He'll tell, he'll tell you that a, a pair of shoes with a hole at the bottom with no sole is better than an intact, perfect, brand new pair of shoes. So I don't know what he, he think people, who he fooling. But once he got to understand is we don't respect him in America. That's what he got to understand. We don't respect you. The fighters respect the money. And we know you don't respect our fighters. And you just respect the hustle. And that's cool. And that's what you're here for. You out here to use fighters and chew them out like you do your own fighters and move on. And that's what promoters do. But you don't know the temperature of American boxing. Stop friend like you do. You don't. All right. So whatever you was to say, I'm not. I, me knowing what I know, I'm not gonna believe it. You ain't really tapped into what's going on here. You here. You there. You all over the world. Because if you if if y'all can bang out America the way it should be banging out, you wouldn't have to go to Australia. You wouldn't have to go to Japan. You wouldn't have to go to our. You wouldn't have to go nowhere. All the real money you making here, if you could dominate here. You would have, you know, and you working too hard traveling all around the world just to keep your job. <laughs> but that's not true. He said people getting a bit bored talking about Crawford and Spence. We've been bored. But guess what? When ain't nothing to talk about, when your company don't put a fight on, when Top Rank don't put a fight on, when PVC don't put a fight on, when Roy and Paulie and them don't put a fight on, guess where the talk revert back to? The talk, rever the talk reverts right back to Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence. When ain't nothing going on in the PBC sphere, when they stagnant uh, uh, schedule, guess what uh, Booker Sugar, Leonard Ellaby talk about? Guess what Lou DiBella talking about? Guess what they fighters talking about? They talk about Terrence Crawford. They ain't talking about nothing that's potentially coming up. I ain't really heard nobody talk about Benavidez as a plant. For real. Now, once the presser get here, which is today, it's going on as I do this video. I know they're going to play music for 30 minutes. I go back to my desk and I listen. But, uh... But uh, but yeah, they come on. Then they talk about it for a minute, and they stop promoting it. And then, you know, people ain't gonna remember till fight night. We know how it go. But in terms, if he said man, it could be a better fight in the ring, he might be right about that. He might be right about that. That that may go. That might be a better fight. And it's close. That that me and him can agree on that. Maybe he used the wrong term, but bigger. It ain't bigger if if it happened. In, if they both them fights fought in Russia, you know we see Monkey Boy, Dick Dick Russians out of there. We see Dennis Crawford, Errol Spence. I ain't go see that. Don't want to see Canadian Russian butter beef and and beef. I don't want to see it. They could be co-feature. I want to see Monkey Boy, Obama, two Obamas fight. That's what they want to see. Shit. But at the end of the day, you know, better be Evan B for getting old to me because that shit should have been happening. You know, I ain't talking about what Canelo want his revenge. Them niggas putting a pistol to Canelo head. <laughs> hey, Mike, get in there and fight and fight uh, that boy B will get. I don't want to. No, no. I don't want to be done to grown cinnamon. <laughs> I don't want to. Don't make me. I call Al Heyman. <laughs> he ain't got he don't have any money meat <laughs> walk the <this> beaver plank <laughs> they don't want to do that shit bro I'm telling you they don't want to get the rig we don't want to get back to the rig with beaver and if he do it's already rigged like Aaron Foster said the National Football League was rigged beaver he hit you with uppercut left hook to liver you go down down they paid us 20 million American dollars. <laughs> you know what a college or a daughter can go to? <laughs> so you know what it is. Anytime it's something that we want to see, they 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 tell you, oh yeah, we want to make the fight, but then they proceed, oh Canelo next up and Boatsy next up and 
and, 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 and Josh Jerry uh, Johns of the Billards Club of Manchester United Johnson and Johnson and and Billy Goat Club is next, and they tell you all some bull drive. I don't be bully. Show me, Bobby. I'm willing to make the fight. Eddie Hearn does not want to put Dimitri Bivol in the ring with Better BF. It's just as simple as that. Better BF, I pity the fool who gets in the ring with Arthur Better BF. Eddie Hearn knows, I know, Bevo knows, Better BF fucks him up. Excuse my language, I'm just speaking the truth. <laughs> Julius from Ring IQ, he knows it. He he knows he knows he doesn't want to smoke when Bevo get in the ring with Better BF from CJ. He doesn't want to smoke. <laughs> Julius knows the relay is going to be just like this. CJ was right. Better BF smashes Bevo. It's just, I seen what he did in there against Gilberto Ramirez. And, and if that was better BF in there, oh my God. Julius would be picking up better Beevil's whiskers off the canvas. I like Beevil. He was on ESPN once upon a time. But better BF, we got him from PBC. We traded two dime sacks and a quarter ounce of regular grade marijuana, and Al Heyman said he'd take it. <laughs> but saying this might be a better fight, I wouldn't have really disagree per se, because that shit can go down, bro. They both can be good fights, but if you had to say which fight gonna be better, give me them Europeans, bro. Give me them Europeans, cause I know, I know when they get in the ring together. They don't know none of this shit. You know what I'm saying? Earl can pull a little bit of that out. Crawford can pull a little bit of that. They don't know that shit. It's, I must crush you. That's that, man. When they get hit, they, like Darvichank on Triple G, that motherfucker, man, shoot. It ain't, ain't going to be no quitting them niggas, dude. I don't know what's in Earl Spence's heart. And I wouldn't be mad. People say, well, I, I question Terrence Crawford's heart. I ain't mad at it. But them, them Russians, man, that grew up in that cold and shit. Oh man, I I, already, I I probably would say you had to say CJ bet your money on it. Only reason I'm hesitant to probably say a hundred percent on them is because it better be of age. But then again, Terrence Crawford ain't no spring chicken either. If I had to say fuck the names, uh, fight A, fight B, bro, I probably would say better be Evan B was gonna be a better fight. Just knowing their ancestry in Russia, bro, when you put them Europeans in the ring, especially the ones from Russia and Ukraine and Slavistan and Slavolinko and all that shit, bro, Kazakhstan, they willing to die for that shit, bro. They fight, they fight to get gold medals and represent their country. They willing to die for that shit in the ring. You know what I'm saying? They willing to die, bro. They going to get up as much as you let them get up, man. I, I'm telling you, man, I probably would side with that. They going to be like, damn, CJ, where your pride at? I'm with I'm with my honest opinion, bro. That's my eye, man. That probably is the best fight to make in boxing, bro. Just from a forget, and I know the name going to it, the the fanfare. That's what make it the, as a bigger a fight. It would be a bigger fight around the world, probably be Crawford and Spence. But when you talking about just I'm talking about a bigger event, excuse me. When you talking about just inside the, the the four corners, the square circle, and just you know take the names away and just say what will be a better. Styles and mesh, man. When them Europe Eastern Europeans getting that motherfucker together, but anytime you put two fighters that know each other's style, it's beautiful. But the difference is they can't resort to this, that, and the third. Even Bevel, he just you know, boom, boom, boom. You know, he he on the you know he don't do too much. He can do he he kind of got a, like a little funky style. Well, not gonna say funky, but he got some athleticism. But ain't none of this. And I guarantee you, Bevel get hit. He gonna get. He gonna rather go out on the shield. If you have to, he going to jump all in, I'm telling you. That's just how they wired over there. Ain't no second, this, that, and the third. Ain't no, It's either get in or get out. What he tell him to never back down? He said, when you get hit, either your body register to get in or get out. <laughs> that's one of my favorite movies to watch. I ain't going to lie. That's, that's a 2000s classic. But uh, that's what it is, bro. And like I said before, man, I think, you know, I would probably get an edge to better be Evan Beaver. You know what I'm saying? I think that's going to 
that's gonna be a slobber knocker. But the age of Better Bev and the, and the wear and tear of Errol Spence and the age of Terrence Crawford might have something to say about it. But but if they a okay and they what they were, you know what Spence was coming from the Ugas fight and Crawford has continued to be and what Better Bev has been and you know obviously Bevel I think is the most fresher out the four. You know, you know, I think he about 32 and Earl about the same, but he ain't had the, you know, the incidentals outside the ring that Earl had. I, I mean, Aiden Hurst said that's a better fight. I wouldn't even push back on I said, I agree with him. You agree with me, mate. Yeah, one for once, the pilgrim. I agree with the big, the big pilgrim. But yeah, that shit, that shit, man, I ain't gonna lie, bro. But as an event, you know, and the hood gonna come out, yeah, as an event, ain't nothing gonna compel, compel Crawford and Spence, but when, when they shit to talk about in boxing, it's like uh, in the boondocks. Remember when he was, they threw a chair. He said, why everybody stop paraphrasing? When they throw a chair, it's always a fight. And eat dirt when them threw a chair. And they all started fighting at the, the war show and shit. And then Riley did it. <laughs> I think then it started a fight or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's going to be lit, bro. I think it'll both of them be great. But uh, if I had to say the better, bigger event, Crawford Spence. If I had to say the better fight. I get an edge to better BFB, but long as age don't play a factor in either or. But um, check out the boxing list playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And subscribe to the buddy. Is the bit like button. We like CJ. We want you to come to the Russia. Come to the hunt. No, no, no. Not coming to no hunt. <laughs> but hit the link tree. Find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Vimo, PayPal. Host of other stuff too. Uh, hit the link tree. Follow your boy. Appreciate y'all. Peace.